Hi guys, how are you? Um, Happy New Year 2014. We are today November 2nd, 2014 and this is a video that I wanted to make because I received a lot of um, private messages. So I really wanted to say a huge thank you to those of you who have written to me, to those of you who have said how you, have, you are enjoying um, this page i cannot believe that we are right now at 215 people on it and that it seems to be that you guys are really enjoying the, the videos i see a couple of you has have share, shared the video on your page the rating has gone very up and it is all glory to um, god and to our ancestors and to haiti so um, by the time I post this video or probably all the other videos about the whole cooking that my family and I did today, if you are not familiar with the Haitian culture, even if you are Haitian, um, on January 1st, which is the um, our independence, yesterday marked the 210th year since we've been independent. But um, this morning, really, when I woke up, I woke up kind of like, not in a bad mood, but I really didn't think that this day was going to be so enjoyable. And it, I came to mind, I was like, I haven't spent, you know, I haven't recorded during the holiday seasons at all. So I said to myself, um, it would be nice to record how the day is and um, how my family celebrates um Jour des Ayus, which is our ancestors' day. I celebrate with my family as well as privately because I always pay respect to my ancestors, the one that came before me, the one who paved the way for those of us to be here. And it was really, uh, and it was really an incredible, incredible day of reflection for me. So, um, happy Independence Day to us. Um, Although it's a little bit ironical for me to say that we are independent, but um, on this day I recall all the great battles that Haiti had to fight and everything that we had to go through um, in order to become free, which we are certainly not um, free of. You know, something that just dawned on me, I was going to say, it is nobody's fault, as you all know. Freedom is acquired. Freedom is not given. Freedom is acquired. But there's also different level to fight for your freedom. Our ancestors already fought for us. They already pick up bullets, uh, machetes, guns, and they did, they did it the way they knew better of, which they had to fight. But right now, as we celebrate our ancestors, the message that I have for the Haitian people who are, who are watching this and also for foreigners you know is that sometimes you have to learn how to fight and continue the fight even if you use a very different tactic even if we don't use any guns or even if we don't use any machetes we have to continue the fight to become a free republic and the first thing that we have to do is to it is really to learn how to love ourselves you know how to enjoy how to be okay and love your culture there is this immense pride that comes through each one of us every time we celebrate january 1st may 18 I always say we are the first black republic and yes we need to be proud of that we pave the ways for others to become free we have been freed since 210 years for 210 years since 1804 so what are we going to do it's 2014 1804 2014 but truth of the matter is if we go back into times and we are right now what what what's the difference what is the true difference a lot of you guys the young haitian haitian american haitian canadian haitian french um haitian germans um 
a lot of you guys don't know why we drink subjumo only on January 1st and on January 2nd why we cook so much if we have to go a little bit into time when the slaves when you know we were enslaved and we had the colon the white people who were you know our masters I believe the story goes that they were the only one who were allowed. They loved subjoma. They loved the way the slave made the subjoma. So the, they had to make subjoma for the slave. I mean, for the masters. But they were not allowed to drink it. We were not allowed to drink the soup. When the slave took their independence, on January 1st, they cooked the subjoma and they ate it. That's the first thing that they did. They cooked it and they ate it. They drank it because they were not allowed to drink it. This is the reason why we cook subjomo on January 1st and why it is the only meal that you are supposed to have, truthfully. You cook it in the morning. Somebody, Some people cook a huge and, you know, but there's not, you don't eat anything else besides the subjomo on January 1st. On the second day, which is Jour des Ayeux, you celebrate. It is almost as Thanksgiving, excuse me. It is almost as Thanksgiving. You cook, you cook good and large meals. And once you cook that, you, um, hold on, 